Welcome back to the show. Of course, Kenny Black is still here with us, giving us some jokes from left, right. He's just giving us blast boots. Blast boots. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're um, absolutely welcome back. So let's talk about the movie which you recently starred in, Knockout. Okay, yes. What was the experience like for you? Uh, it, was, it, was, it was really dope. It was really dope. Um, it was, I, I, I didn't really get to act much. I just yeah, got yeah. to do my thing that yes. I do normally as the MC of the IKB Super Challenge, where we're able to judge between Miss 5 Gig, Miss 4 Gig, Miss. Yeah. So if you watch the movie, you see that. Uh, Everybody who acted did their thing, so mm -hmm. um, there was no, there was no trying to make you be who someone you else. Yes. So everybody did their thing. So I was I played the role of the MC okay. at the grand finale, and I got to do one of the popular jokes that everybody liked. The thing goes, it was it was really the bad and amazing experience. Shooting. So when you saw this, did you see the script? Yeah, I saw the script. You knew what you were going to do? Immediately. I've always wanted And it, was it that you, f you just fell in love with it or it was the money? Which one? Yeah, it wasn't the money because I've always wanted to, to act. Yes. Um, and so it was it, it was really dope for me when they said, okay, Kenny Black, we need you to do something. I was like, hey, okay. So the call time was for, I think the call time was for 3 p.m. I got there one day. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> it, let's do because this. Because it, it, it was my first time, so I needed to know how it is done because yeah. um, learning the script, mm -hmm. knowing how to, so I won't overact, I will do this yeah. and this and so I was trying to study the environment and mm -hmm. it was really dope. All right, so let's talk about Oxymoron of Kenny Black. Okay. You had the very first edition in 2017. Yeah. How did you get the idea to start doing this? Um, okay, uh, I've, been, I've, been, I've been on everybody's platform, almost okay. everybody. I'm not sure there is any comedian who has done a show in the cool hotel that I've not been on that platform. Okay. And, so everybody started asking, oh, I think it's time for you to do something, at least. Um, let's see, let's see the Kenny Black strength. Let's see mm, if you, you've been doing five minutes here, 10 minutes here, 20 minutes here, 15 minutes here. Mm -hmm. What will happen if you have your own show to yourself? What are you going to do? Will you do will, can you do a one hour stretch? Can you do, what is that thing that Kenny Black has got to offer that is different from what I see at regu on, um, regular comedy shows? I'm like, no problem, let's do something. and. I was able to, you know, redefine my own um, definition of music comedy mm -hmm. by involving art, dance, drama, everything to it. So I named it Oxymoron, basically. Yeah, it's why? Called, hey, because, you know, life is a bitter sweet experience. Planning the show was a bitter sweet experience. I can because imagine. I know it was going to be a bitter sweet experience. <laughs> so I beforehand? Know, I, know, I know. I know from the beginning that we are going to suffer first <laughs> before, we, before we enjoy. Yeah. So, um, I, I wanted to always explain my, my, my challenges flaming into fame. Mm -hmm. um, tell people that, you know, it's, life is not the bed of roses. You cannot just make it. Yeah. It has to be a gradual process. Mm -hmm. All right, so what's the experience usually like when you're planning, having to put together one of the biggest shows um, here in Nigeria? Um, and it's, it's always crazy, you know, putting scripts together. Why, some people ask why Oxymoron. You know, I'm someone who likes to always explain a story from flaming into fame. I was like, that's why Oxymoron won. Uh, we did a story of our, of, of our own story of what we think happened to Adekule Good. Okay. When um, flaming into fame, you know, um, this bittersweet experience, what happened before and after. Okay. Uh, last year we did a story of Two Face, um, Kiss Daniel, explaining how we started, uh, explaining the bitter than before the sweet experience. So music is an industry, comedy is an industry. So yeah. I just felt that my own, bringing them together as my own oxymoron. As one industry. <laughs> as one industry, yeah. making music comedy. So that, that um, it's, it's, it's always crazy. Putting the scripts together, trying to make sure that everybody have a good time. Yeah. You know, we want them to write a joke, when it's, wanting them to write music. They want yeah. them to write a music comedy joke. Together. So it's, it's always crazy, but we thank God. Uh, we keep giving our best. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, we've not gotten to the sweet experience. Well, <laughs> gradually, <laughs> gradually, we're flaming into it. We're flaming into Before it. Before the, um, the very first one, were you scared? Yeah, that, like, will people show up? Nah, that sort of thing. I'm not sure I was scared. I think I was afraid because of this. <laughs> Who was the difference? The spelling. So, <laughs> so it's because, you know. One, no, one, no, one, no. I'll, yeah, give, one, I'll, no. I'll give you one. Uh, very soon. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I was. Uh, for two things. Mm -hmm. I was kind of relaxed because I, I, I believe so much in the fact that I, that 
I'm too connected to be rejected. I cannot, hey, I, cannot come I, on. I, I, I cannot afford to give these people a bad show. Mm -hmm. So I was worried. The only thing I was worried was I didn't know how big my fan base was. I didn't know if these people would come out for me. If even when I knew that what I what I had, what I have is going to kill people, it's going to wound them. Yeah. I was scared with these people turn on, but come on man, they came through and it was there was overflow. Mm. And same thing for last year, there was overflow. And same thing for this year, there will be overflow. There will be an overflow. Yeah. By the way, has anybody ever painted for you like, oh my god, Kenny Black? Actually, yes. Somebody but, has. Yeah, but it when she woke up realized it was not for me, it was hunger. Oh, you just broke. You broke my at heart. At least, at least, was from, so I was there when they finished. Don't worry, somebody will say it's this coming one. Ah, and yes, it will not be because of hunger. And then, then they wake up. <laughs> <laughs> what we like, hey, without your small waist, drawing me in, hey, and you're kicking me out. What's going on? Ah, on that beautiful mind. I love me, be love you, I love you. Actually, Kenny Black is a great guy. I said, they take my phone up, put the police station. Now, one of them, they advise me, hey, yeah, uh, why you pass there now? Nah? I said, what's happening? He said, I read that team DPO gone last week. There's an alert that tell me we see. She will call you, brother. Now, I'll send her another 500. 30 minutes, that will done day ago. I just see a person wear black and black. Old staff calling out from my front. The people of Wakanda are not happy with me. One word for Kenny Black, Kenny Black is called Grace. What? I just want to love you. What? I just want to love you. What? I just want to love you. Fashala, Lagos, Hamwadi, Lagos. Transmission, omission, transmission, transportation, transmission. How about? That's your boy, Harry. For the ladies. But you can call me Bobo. Thumbs up to Kenny Black and every other person that made this show a success. I'm in severe pain. Nothing must happen to me. I'm in serious pain. If anything should happen to me, I can't turn this snake anymore. In fact, if Kenny Black Kenny release Black. album, well, like the album will say very, very well. You said you love me. Uh, and that yes. you can handle this full package. Hey! Peperi, peperi, peperi. Nobody knows.